good. Chapter 2. Alright. Well, this has gone off to a great start. Great start, great start. Second first breath. Sounds intense. Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail I'm to alive. recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patience are my canvas, but my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human mind and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, it's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts. Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? All these formalities. And I see that I have two arms again. She's awake, Doctor. Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. Thanks. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. Had a weird dream. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Would you confirm your name for me, please? Um, hi, I'm Susan. Got two arms, thank Susan you very much. Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please, let them know if you need anything. Yeah, Jesus, it is a take miracle. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. She took 34 pills. Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, oh. no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Good to know that she was concerned about her arm too, but... Yeah, okay, so... Everything's cool. If I live alone, how the heck did they... know... I was dying? Someone... I don't know. Maybe we'll get an answer to that I'm later. sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. Hi. Hi. How's it going? I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You, doing what you've done, and her, walking in, seeing what she saw. 
That was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. Fabulous. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Cool. Who is she? Who is she talking about? She was like, she walking in, seeing what she saw. Who was that? Okay. Can I move now? Nope. Oh, what? I, I'm pretty sure they, they're not supposed to do that. Oh, God. Oh, God. What did I do wrong? I just pushed the up arrow. Fucked up already? Bad dream. Oh, no, I'm good. Okay. Just, uh... Yeah, it was pretty yeah, fucked up. A really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. What was it about? Uh... I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all. Not just injured, but not right in the head. She was on 10 litres of oxygen through the face mask. She had to stay in bed, she was told. But she wouldn't listen, of course. And as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. The whole room went up in flames. And so did she. I guess huh. you didn't really want to know that, did you? That's uh. just me and my big gob. Typical. I never know when to shut up. It was a little bit inappropriate after that dream, but that's okay. I like you. You seem okay. Uh, what happened what to me? What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I Just fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... Um... Uh, hopefully this doesn't fuck me over all later. All of a sudden, I was on the field of barley. It was great at first. I felt happy. I was free. But it soon got worse. There was this tunnel. But there was no light at the end of it. Only darkness. Sounds then like I got side. lost in the woods. There was I mean, my I was dead there, body but, hanging you know. on the tree, a burning car, and a crow, and a deer. I heard something behind the trees, but I didn't dare to look. Then I found the house. The old woman who lived there, I think she was death. Or maybe she was the devil, I'm not sure. She said they call her the Queen of Maggots. She said I should go back gave me another chance. And so, here I am. Weird dream, eh? Liz is probably like, uh... believe in that sort of stuff. Little weird. It's not impossible. It felt real, but it was just a dream. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. Have if a daughter? If it wasn't for her, you would sure be dead, no, Susan. No, I can't. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why do you look so pale all of a sudden? I can't Susan? have a daughter. She said she lived alone. I don't have a daughter. Whoever yeah. she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma. 
Apparently. So she lied. It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. Uh, so... I think she wants when to go home. When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Just a guess. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you. And he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. I'm gonna... I'm gonna guess that he was the guy that I was talking to, so... So... Did you see Did this you daughter? See this daughter of mine. No, sorry, Susan. Apparently she came in the ambulance with you. But then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um, saving your life? Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. Or she was a burglar attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. I don't think that a have you burglar got very precious in your flat. Uh, I don't think that a burglar Maybe. would be breaking in somewhere and then be like, "Oh shit, someone's dying." Unless, I mean, I'm sure there's some nice burglars out there. Who knows? I don't know. So, how long, how long have, have I, I been, been here? here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at seven in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward. Because all the patients who come here want to die. Hi, it's a you're such a joker. Unit. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. Ugh, that doesn't sound nice. Um... So about you, Tell how are you? something more about yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. At least I think so. She's never home at night. Maybe she works at night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? No, you're right. You're a real nurse. Not some man's fantasy of one. I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy nurse and all. Well, I did it just once, really. He didn't like it that much. He didn't good, like me good that to much know. either. Broke up with me last Valentine's Day. Of all the days, he chose that one, eh? He never told me why, but... I don't care anymore. Sorry to hear that, friend. So Tell about this doctor X, this then. Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman, but everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him, but you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. 
Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. One oh, girl gross. I knew. Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Well, she left. And I never saw her again. Now, why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. Well, one thing. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? He smells... funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. It's really interesting. Huh. Uh, go away. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. But do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh... Okay. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? I... don't know if I should... answer these as me, or...? Yeah. I had a great dad. I have very fond memories of my father. He was always there for me, no matter what I did. He never got angry or upset. I suppose I never really gave him any reasons to be. I was a good child. Not perfect. But then again, no one's perfect. Whatever made me try to kill myself, it definitely has nothing to do with him. Where is he now? He died six years ago. Cancer. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. How can you even ask me that? It's my job to ask these questions, Susan. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? Uh... I can't yeah. complain. My mum was great. She brought me up well. Me and her. 
We were like best friends, like soulmates. We did everything together. She passed away seven years ago. When dad first got diagnosed with cancer, it was too much for her. He kept pretending he was fine, but she just couldn't take it. Her heart gave up. She died quickly. My father kept fighting it. Another so eight sad. months of illness and intensive chemo finally beat him though. He thought he was unbeatable, but he wasn't. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes and we will talk about something else. Huh. I need to get out okay. of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Interesting. Exam. It's got my name, date of birth, and hospital number on it. Give. Who would I give it to? You... Wait, what's use? Hmm. How can this help me escape from this horrible place? Ah. Nah, I don't want to lie down. Needles are stuck at 1008. It's probably broken. Or maybe it just needs new batteries. Maybe that's going to be useful at some point. It's full of latex gloves. Three different sizes. Take some. I'll take a shitload. Great, I got gloves now. Sink? Turn. Why would I? Uh, nah, it's okay. I'll, I'll leave the sink for now. Drug chart. Oh, it's a list of drugs for patient in room inside room two. I guess that's me then. I'm on a lot of sedatives, it appears. The stuff they're giving me can knock out a horse. Give it a headache for a week, too. It could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre. Why would they want to give me all that? I'm not crazy, I know that for sure. If anyone's crazy here, it's someone who put me on all this medication for no good medical reason. Huh. <laughs> Examine. Bunch of cr Uh, bunch of chrysanthemums. I hate flowers. I like flowers, what are you talking about? Smell them. I don't like flowers. I really don't care what they smell like. Rude. No way am I taking them. I don't like flowers, especially chrysanthemums. Well, I'm hoping that's how it's pronounced. I have, I've only seen it written down. I've never... I don't think I've ever said it out loud, which is weird to think about. Examine. Side room two. They're, they must be keeping another suicidal nutcase in there. What a rude way to say that. Or rude way to describe someone. Should I take more gloves? I've got enough gloves in my pocket. Oh, okay. There's no need to take more. Alright, fine, fine. Sink? Why would I want to turn the water on? That's a little random. 1140. Are all the clocks broken in this hospital? Or maybe it's just one of those hallucination things. I... Why would I lie down on someone else's bed? That's a little weird. Dirty looking pillow. Nothing interesting under it. Okay. Should I go into my my room and see what's under my pillow then? Maybe I keep a diary or something. Enter. The other person's bed is so... So messy. Nope. Alright, that's fine. Well, I guess the logical thing would just be to go to the... The front, right? to the uh, lobby. God dang it. Read it again. It's a list of drugs for patient inside room one and some notes. According to this, her name is Ann Burton, 35 years of age. She's taking lots of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. It seems that on top of it all, she's taking basic, she's taking meth for heroin withdrawal syndrome. syndrome. Sorry. At the bottom of the page, there's a note saying she's actually a private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady. I guess it won't be so easy for me to leave the ward. The ward. Can't say words. So... 
Oh, discharge letter. Discharge letter for Anne Burton, currently a patient in side room one. Yep, she's a- okay. Is that really a good idea to take that with this nurse right here? I bet she thinks those red rim glasses make her look attractive. I know her kind all too well. Com too well. Completely dedicated to her job, yet totally brainless and close-minded. How judgmental. Uh... Can you discharge me? I feel me? much better now. Can you please discharge me? I'm glad to hear that. But I can't discharge you until Dr. X sees you. He should be doing his round very soon. Please return to your bed and wait for him, alright? Haven't I already seen him, though? I don't think that any of those other options would... These must be patient files. Piled up on the desk. Take them. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry. Are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? So when can I save? Oh, okay. Save. Uh... Let's see. These nuts. One. Okay. Let's go back here. Hey, dudes. What's up? Okay, let's try and get on their Excuse good side. Me. Where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Can I see the discharge letter first? A discharge letter? What for? Some of our patients are under observation and aren't allowed out of the ward. For their own safety, of course. It sounds like we're prisoners here. It's for the patient's safety, ma'am. If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. What May is this I guy doing? What your name is? Um... This guy's just, like, checking out the side of my face and then he goes back. Um... Uh... My name's Mary my Smith. My name is... Mary Smith. Let me through, please. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you, ma'am. You should talk to the doctor first and come back with a letter and some form of identification. Okay. So I have to get that letter somehow. I mean, I'm gonna guess that taking this in front of her is just not an option. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something oh, to read, see, snap. we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Okay, so I probably have to have some distraction or something. What? Why do you look like me? This must be the patient from side room two. God, she doesn't look confu- or doesn't she look confused? You okay, friend? You look like a younger me. Which is weird. Another suicidal patient. Strange, she looks like someone I know. Yeah, she looks like you! Hi. Are you alright? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh. I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please, tell me it was her. Um, yes. yes. Sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. Oh, the great. name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, 
Well... What is my mother's name? Hmm... Ah... Uh, uh... Oh man! <sighs> eh, I, no, that's her name. I don't think that... I don't know, fuck it. Anne Burton. No, that's my name. You don't know my mother, you little liar. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Maybe we can- If you really are a friend- Oh, god damn it. Know... Alright, move away from your microphone a little bit, will you? Ugh. Examine. It's a toilet door. Fascinating. Let's go in. Ah. <sighs> okay, oh, was I get my in? Do I need to- Examine. Looks like it hasn't been emptied for a while. There are a lot of discharged, discarded medication pots in there, among other gross stuff. I'll take one of these medication pots. Great. <laughs> There's a note. Please stop writing messages on the mirror. While we are currently experiencing difficulties maintaining high level of cleanliness due to... Bleh. Sudden absence of our cleaning staff. We ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the ward tidy. Okay. It... No, no, no. Let's, uh... Can I look at the mirror? Yep. Can't look at myself. The mirror is cracked. A large shard of glass is lying on its side. That's kind of dangerous for... If they're putting suicidal patients. Oh, oops. I'm having trouble. <laughs> I need an adult. Someone is coming. Oh, it's you. Hey. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Uh. I just. Uh, no, not right I now, sorry. I pressed it by mistake. Sorry. Oh. Alright. It happens, I guess. I'll see you later. Okay, um... Toilet. Look at it. It's rather filthy. Let's go pee. The lid is down. Oh, come on, really? You can't open it by yourself? I guess I'm gonna pee. I'm dying for a wee ever since I woke up. So you guys doing okay? <laughs> Everything fine? You all good and happy? You better be. Okay. Oh, maybe I can... Can I clog the toilet with these gloves? Quite heavy, actually. Use them. And then maybe flush it. I don't know why I would want to do this, but maybe just for giggles. Uh... Hello. Your toilet's fucked. Someone is coming. Oh yeah, I peed with the door open. Awkward. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is it when is. you need to use it urgently, like I do. We think alike. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Oh, it's the gloves. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty, since the cleaner's called in sick. Huh. Oh, cool. Well, while she's distracted, can I go get the... the thingy? The thing? 